Assalamu alaikum. Good morning. This is the first lecture on the third part of the fundamental of the soil science course. Me is Anwar uh, Ali, Dr. Anwar Ali, a professor of soil environmental chemistry. Due to the corona pandemic, the university allowed us to give you the lecture online. The third word is called soil chemistry. As you know, we have on the soil science five branches. These five branches are soil pedology, soil uh, physics, soil chemistry, soil fertility and plant nutrition, and uh, soil microbiology. Now we are on soil chemistry. The soil chemistry is defined as a branch of soil science that is interested in studying chemical properties of soil, liquid, and gaseous soil phases, and in the, in the interaction resulting from overlapping soil phases with each other, chemical changes in the uh, uh, of the ion caused by different environmental factor. Problem related to different chemical properties of the of the different soils that impede their use in agriculture, like salinity, sodicity, toxic ion, and so on. As you know, we have three phases on soil system. The first is solid phase, gaseous phase, and air phase. If you if we enlarge this point, you, you can observe the soil particle. Between the soil particles, there is a pore. This pore is either filled by water and air, or air. If the soil irrigated and saturated with water, then the, all pores are, will be filled by water, and then the gaseous phase will, will be negligible or approaching to zero. However, if you let the soil to be to dried up, the, uh, the water phase will be will be will disappear, and the air air phase will will form around 50% of the soil system. So there is an overlapping here between the air and liquid phase. Furthermore, there is also uh, Overlapping between organic and mineral part. Organic matter means that the uh, the residues of partially decomposed, decomposed plant and animal, and organic compound produced by soil microbe. The soil organic matter is a transitional compound due to it is in a continuous state of decomposition and synthesis by living organisms in the soil. So when the organic matter falls to the soil, the, the microorganisms start to make decomposition to convert the plant or animal residues to organic matter. The chemical composition of earth crust. As you know, there is 92 chemical ion. Here is not element, chemical element in earth crust. There is 92 chemical element in earth crust only Eight of these elements in the form of ion formed around 98% of Earth's crust. These eight elements are oxygen, silicon, aluminum, iron, calcium, sodium, potassium, and magnesium. Alone, oxygen alone represents around 46% by mass of the earth's crust and 
represent around 94% by volume while silicon form around 28% by mass while less than 1% by volume why this because the silicon ion volume is very small compared to oxygen if you look here the radius the ionic radius of silicon is around 0.2 y6 and while oxygen radius is 1.4 a large ion here a small ion most element in the soil and earth crust are formed in the form of ion or an ion or cation Oxygen 45% by weight, silicon 27, other min mineral is less than 2%. If you look to this P, you can observe easily that the dominant ion on the earth crust is oxygen followed by silicon, uh, then aluminum, iron, calcium, potassium potassium, sodium, and magnesium. The remaining is less than 2%. The main, rem, remaining like zinc, manganese, and so on. Nickel, copper, and so on. On uh, silicon and oxygen, silicon and oxygen form around 40, make around 74% of the air's crust by weight. So the chemical composition of the air's crust is, is a silica and oxygen, aluminum, and other mineral. But the dominant is silicon and oxygen, and then aluminum. So, the Earth's crust appears to us in the form of a structure of oxygen ion, leaving between them a small space that the silicon and aluminum ion occupied mainly. So, why, why this silicon and aluminum is small, and why the oxygen is large? The, ox the, the oxygen ion between oxygen ions there is a space, a free space. This space is occupied by aluminum and silicon. It's a shape of Earth's crust, oxygen ion and silicon or aluminum between its space. So this is the chemical composition of the soil. I want you to know to differentiate between element and mineral. If you have similar atoms, atom plus atom, make element, element with different element, make mineral, mineral plus another different mineral, produce rock. We have three types of rock, igneous rock, 90% of old rocks, sedimentary and metamorphic rocks. Sedimentary and metamorphic form 5% of the Earth's crust. So, you know now, uh, now the difference between mineral and element. The mineral is a compound, like a compound, a compound and can be defined as an in, uh, as a mineral is an inorganic natural compound with a specific physical, chemical, and crystalline properties. So the mineral is inorganic and not organic. It's not produced from animal and plant residues. It's produced from magma or lava directly. We have two types of mineral. The first is primary mineral. It's a, a mineral whose a mineral It's a mineral whose chemical or crystalline 
composition has not changed since it, its formation from molten lava and its separation as the cooling magma. So it's produced directly from magma or lava. If the mineral produced directly from magma or lava, a lava it's called the primary mineral. And the primary mineral commonly found in soil include quartz and feldspar, and mainly found in the sand, or coarse sand and silt, or called coarse fraction. The sand its fraction means the fraction of the particle between two to zero point two, while the silt is for the particle between zero point zero to zero point zero two zero point. 002 millimeter. Secondary mineral. Secondary mineral is the mineral that is the result of chemical weathering of primary mineral. Okay, so you have primary mineral weathering produced by secondary mineral. So this weathering may altering the structure of or the, uh, the altering the structure or Deposition, depositing the weathering of primary mineral product. When the min primary min mineral degraded, can be produced a new mineral with a new structure uh, and chemical uh, structure. This new mineral, which is produced from primary mineral called secondary mineral. Secondary mineral commonly found on soil are silicate clay minerals such as kaolinite, kaolinite, sorry, montmorillonite and oxides such as gypsite, such as gypsite. The secondary mineral generally found on a clay fraction of the soil, the fraction which is less than 0.002 millimeter. Common, common mineral in soil. The common mineral in soil, the, the, as you know, that the mineral is produced from iron, and as you know, that the dominant iron is oxygen and silicon. So, consequently, the dominant mineral in soil are silicate should be silicate mineral be, because the, the mineral formed from the iron and element and because as or due to the dominant iron is silicate and oxygen uh, silicon and oxygen consequently the dominant mineral should be silicate mineral what silicate mineral the mineral which includes silicon and oxygen in, in its on its structure so th this is the dominant the mineral in soil and represent around 92% of the air's mineral. On the air there is 2000 mineral approximately. The second mineral is carbonate mineral, sulfate mineral, chloride mineral and oxide and hydroxide mineral. Blagioclase from uh, here this be uh, conclude the most abundant mineral in earth's crust. The most abundant is feldspar, around 39 percent. This plagioclase uh, uh, feldspar is a silicate mineral. Potassium is a silicate uh, feldspar is a silicate mineral. Mineral quartz is 12 percent silicate mineral. Pyroxene, amphibole, mica, clay, and other silicate mineral. All of this mineral is silicate mineral and represent around 92% 92 92% uh, 92 of the earth's mineral uh, non, the non silicate uh, mineral like carbonate and uh, uh, carbonate and chloride and uh, uh, and sulfate and so on represent only 8% of the earth's mineral This is the first section of the first lecture of 